As CNN slowly fades into obscurity as their viewership collapses and their relevance evaporates, they become increasingly desperate. I saw this tweet just uh, uh, earlier today from John Levine. He says, um, is Anderson okay? And for those that are listening, you're not going to be able to see this, but what we're looking at is it's Janine Pirro giving her opening statement while Anderson Cooper is making very, very weird faces like, I don't even know how to describe it. He just keeps having these weird faces shifting. He's not saying anything. Now, look, this is part of a segment called The Ridiculist, where Anderson Cooper does talk about rather silly things. It's a bit snarky. But this is one of the weirdest things I've seen in a long time because he's not actually pointing anything out. He's just criticizing the opening statement of Fox News by making weird faces. It's very strange. CNN seems to be on an anti-Fox News bender or tirade. Oliver Darcy went after InfoWars. CNN just went nuts on InfoWars. InfoWars gets banned. Well, now they're doing the same thing to Fox News. But here's the thing. CNN is almost entirely irrelevant at this point. Their viewership is gone. Their viewership is less than half of mine. Seriously. Some dude on YouTube, me, who talks to the camera to you, has more viewers than CNN does per, per hour segment. So I've got this story, uh, Anderson Cooper mercilessly mocks Trump and mimics Islamophobe in arms Janine Pira. Before we jump into a bunch of these examples, check out timcast.com slash donate if you want to support my work. There's a monthly donation option. There is a cryptocurrency option, a physical address. But of course, just share the video wherever you'd like or click the like button and comment or do all of them because that boosts it in the algorithm. It tells YouTube that it's like a good video. Now, there's a reason why I do this call out, why I say support me. CNN relies on advertisements for their revenue. I somewhat do, right? When views go down, ad revenue goes down. It sucks. But CNN doesn't have a subscription model, so they need their views. So as CNN slowly drifts into oblivion, they're desperately trying to rack their views back up. And that means you're going to see Oliver Darcy and Brian Stelter start attacking Fox News relentlessly so that I talk about it and gives them more play. You're going to see Anderson Cooper doing these really weird faces that just like just to make fun of Fox News. It's very strange. In fact, uh, so I have, I have the writings pulled up, but what I, wanted, I, want, I want to pull up this. Uh, oh, what did I just? There we go. Here's the story. This is a video from CNN where Oliver Darcy said it's naive of Pete Buttigieg to go on Fox News. Well, Bernie Sanders did it. Tulsi Gabbard did it. Andrew Yang did it. Yang went on uh, a Sunday special with Ben Shapiro. No, it's not naive. It's called good faith. But here we have a segment. Should 2020 Democrats appear on Fox News? The answer is yes. Fox News is the biggest cable channel, period. Why is CNN desperately trying to come after Fox News? Well, because they're fizzling into obscurity. CNN is the airport news network. They're the news network of, of hotel lobbies. Check this out. Sunday, May 19th. I love doing this, by the way, because CNN, you know, uh, like, I, 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 I don't know how to describe my personal feelings towards someone like Oliver Darcy, because I've known him for a while, we've talked, but I do feel that he's a bit duplicitous and he's a bad faith actor. In that segment I showed you, they act like censorship is fake. They say it's just a, uh, Trump is just trying to pretend like censorship is a real thing to rally up his base. And it's like, uh, they, can you, you want to talk about me? No, he talks about Gateway Pundit and other more like conservative, other conservative blogs that are considered less credible so that he can easily straw man the argument and shoot it down. But dare he, but he, he, he will not dare bring up Tim Pool, who has the, the research, has the news stories and the citations. For one, Gizmodo reported employees at Facebook said they censor conservatives. Okay. Jack Dorsey said conservative employees of the company are scared to express their opinions. Tim Cook just came out recently and said, we, we will not allow bias against conservatives in the, in the workplace. Jack Dorsey said, perhaps we were too aggressive policing the learn to code meme. Quillette published a study looking at 20, I believe it was 22 high profile acts of censorship. 21 fell on one side of the political debate. But Oliver Darcy won't bring up Tim Poole, who actually has done the research. He'll mention Gateway Pundit so he can push a narrative because it was only a couple of years ago Oliver Darcy himself interviewed me because I said I am concerned about the censorship of the alt-right. I certainly don't like them or their ideas and would like to argue against them and prove them wrong. But when you censor them, you hide their insanity. Let people see what they think. Take a look at this uh, uh, at the screen for those that are watching. For those that are listening, let me, let me tell you what we're looking at because, oh boy, is this fun. 
This is the TV Newser scoreboard from Adweek. We are looking at Fox News, CNN, and MSNBC ratings. It, the, the, the numbers are times 1,000. And guess what? This is live plus SD. So SD, my, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. My understanding is that um, SD is like more on-demand views. I could be wrong. Replays or recordings. But maybe I'm wrong. At, at any rate, <laughs> check this out. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine, I'm going to pick 9 p.m. 9, 9 and 10 p.m. Very, very big numbers, right? CNN's key demographic viewership at 9 p.m. on Sunday was 89,000, and MSNBC's was 64,000. God, God, oh, God damn, MSNBC is trash. 89,000 in the key demo. You know what that means? 25 to 54, age, age 29 to 54. They, they, they can't even break 100,000 views. My, 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 my God. My videos average 160,000 views, and 80% of my viewers are in that key demo. You watching are probably someone between the ages of 25 and 54. Wow, we are just absolutely trashing. And here's what's crazy. I'm actually beating Fox News in the key demo as well, but not in the older age bracket. And this is where it gets interesting. Let's scroll down and take a look at primetime total viewers. CNN's primetime average was 379,000. Wow, that's miserable. CNN's total day average was 456,000. Wow, is that miserable. Now, now Fox News broke a million total day average with a 1.2 in the primetime, meaning their primetime average actually goes up over a million. Now, here's the thing. These are averages. So naturally, their unique viewership will be somewhat higher than a million. They'll probably have a couple million throughout the day because not everyone is watching at the same time. But take a look at this. CNN's Van Jones, 321,000 at 9 p.m. So here's all I do. They're different metrics. They're different standards between um, how the internet works and how uh, cable TV works. But my my videos average about 160,000 unique viewers. And there is an overlap between all, so not everybody watches uh, every video. It's, a, it's about four to eight on average, which means I'm probably, if I was going to be fair in terms of unique viewership, probably around half a million. So check this out. This is the channel you're looking at now, TimCast. TimCast is a series of videos pertaining to particular news stories, much more opinionated, much more meant to be just kind of like me off the cuff. In the past 30 days, viewership is down. Uh, it's down for, for, for most people as we enter the summer months, but I'm at 21.8 million, down from last month, I think, was 20, 27 million. So that's kind of a bummer. But check this out. Here's my Sunday ratings. 958,421. But wait, there's more. I have two channels dedicated to my, my, me as an individual. On my Tim Pool channel, my ratings for Sunday were 201,000 views. So it's not the same metric. It's not entirely fair to compare them one to one. But I have a total of of around uh, 1,150,000 views for the whole day. Considering there's some repeat viewers, which could be true for CNN as well, I would reduce mine down to maybe like six or 700,000. I don't know necessarily how to be fair, but because there's, you know, uh, some, not everybody watches every video and not every video is getting a million views. For an hour's worth of content, my viewership is higher, or at least let's say this, let's, let's, let's bring it down way low and say, if we wanted to say my viewership was actually way less, I'm still rivaling CNN. But in fact, in the key demo, almost all of my viewers are in the key demographic. Almost all, it's around 80% are between 18 and 54. And so they're only including 25 to 54, where the bulk of my viewers actually are. So 18 to 50, uh, 18 to, I think, uh, 24 is my third largest demographic. There's like actually 12 to 17 year olds who watch my videos for some reason. Man, you guys, you guys are getting a head start in politics. So here's the thing. I'm not doing this to gloat necessarily, right? But take this into consideration. Why is it that CNN targets alternative media? They're targeting very heavily, uh, you know, Fox News right now. Why is it that these journalists target people like me? Well, I can show you straight up the ratings nearly 1 million views in a single day. Now for a period last month, I was getting 1.1 million on this channel alone, averaging around 1.3 to 1.4 million per day total views on my, between these two YouTube channels. And this doesn't include the Subverse channel, which you should definitely go and subscribe to if you haven't already, youtube.com slash Subverse videos. We will be creating a podcast based on the Subverse news reporting. 
But I host some of these videos, like maybe like 60 or 70% because we do a lot of on the ground reporting. I'm not even including those numbers in the daily count. And that's, and so here's the thing, the point of this video, CNN is becoming increasingly desperate as their viewership is trash. This is, this is, this is really, really fascinating to me. The key demographic is where you sell ads. It's how you make money. And, you know, so uh, uh, W.K. Bell, uh, Kamwee Bell, I think his name is, I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong, uh, 127,000 in the key demographic. I am absolutely obliterating that. One video I make yesterday got like 250,000 views with 80% of those viewers in the key demo. Absolutely obliterating CNN's numbers in prime time. Why would anyone take CNN seriously at this point? How are, how would they have money? It's amazing that they still exist considering. So here's what's going to happen. They're going to come after people like me. And you know, I, and here's what I love. I have consistently done, uh, uh, I, I, I have tried to do my best in reporting and even opinion segments. I avoid certain blogs. Like, you know, Oliver Darcy talks about Gateway Pundit and these things. I've cited them on some rare occasions, but I typically do not use them unless there's uh, extenuating circumstances, something very important maybe an exclusive that I can personally verify. For the most part, I don't. I, I go by what NewsGuard's ratings are. And a lot of conservatives don't like NewsGuard. And that's why he doesn't bring me up in his segment. That's why when he talks about censorship, he doesn't mention that I went on the Joe Rogan podcast and had a lot of anecdotes. But I also cited several stories, as well as got Jack to admit their rules are biased. Plain and simple. They know their rules are biased. And their response to me was, well, we, we hear you. Thank you for your feedback. They had no argument. They said, okay. And Jack said, perhaps we we're too aggressive. We've seen it over and over again. Twitter employees, Facebook employees, Google employees expressing their bias. We've seen the president come out against it. And then CNN lies, but then claims it's everyone else who's lying. But, but dare he not bring up me because he knows I've got my facts straight and I've got more than enough data to back it up. If you want to claim that, you know, I don't know, Diamond and Sill, Candace Owens, and these individuals are just anecdotes. They're anecdotes. They're individual instances. They don't account for all of the censorship. Sure. Then let me talk about Gizmodo's publication. Are you going to call them a liar? Let's talk about Recode. Are you going to call them a liar? No. These are legitimate verified news sources on the left saying this is happening. Of course, many of these other writers don't want to admit it. They walk it back. But the reality is it happens. We know it happens. And we have the stories and the citations to back it up. Now, it's true. It's possible. Gizmodo and Vox are liars. That wouldn't surprise me. But if they're coming out saying Facebook employees are saying they suppress conservative news, I'm going to have to go ahead and believe them. They have no reason to lie. But of course, CNN does. CNN has a big reason to lie. Their ratings are in the dumpster and they just bought out 100 employees. And as everyone knows, a buyout is a layoff with a smile. And usually when a buyout happens, layoffs, layoffs are not far uh, from happening. So CNN is not, it's not looking too pretty. I also have some inside information on CNN because I have sources. I do journalism. Granted, you're what, you know, most of the stuff I produce is just more of my opinion column stuff as of, as of the past like eight months or so when I started this channel. But Subverse is kicking up. We're expanding. We're hiring. We're, we're about to, we're about to uh, sign a deal on a space. We're going to have an office. And if you go to Subverse, you see it's all just straight news. And a lot of compliments for, about that. So I really appreciate it. But here's the thing. Well, uh, you know what? No, no. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to start repeating myself. and I don't want to do that. CNN is falling down the tubes. Too bad. It's too bad, isn't it? So I'll leave it there. I'm not trying to be too much of a dick. I only have a, a indignation towards uh, CNN because they lie. And I think the reason for it is they're grasping at straws. They're struggling to stay afloat. So you'll end up seeing this weird video of Anderson Cooper making weird faces. And this kind of, uh, it makes me sad because Anderson Cooper has a long and storied career covering things, you know, internationally and doing a good job of it, but now it's just gotten weird. CNN, it's, a, it's, it's, it's the dream is over. Once the, the great, you know, they were the bringer of 24 hour news and now they're the 89,000 in the key demo at 9 PM. Wow. Who's buying ads on CNN? Anyway, I got an, I got my, my next video will be coming up at 4 PM on my channel, youtube.com slash Tim cast. That is the Tim pool channel is a different channel from this one. Uh, for those that are listening on the podcast, that will be the last segment. But stick around, more news to come, and I will see you shortly.